Welcome back to the video. I'm your tech guy, Wayne. Today I wanna to show you how to transfer all your pictures and videos from your Pixel 8 to a computer. Now, all you'll need is simply the cable that came in the box with your phone, which is gonna be a Type-C to Type-C cable. Now, if you have an older computer that does not have a Type-C port, then you will need to purchase an additional cable or adapter to make this work. I'll have some links in the description of, of this type of cable, which is a Type-C to a USB 2.0. This is the standard USB type that'll work with just about any computer. So if you have an older computer and you don't have this port, this is the cable you need to purchase. So you'll find those links down below. Now, this is gonna be a relatively easy process. I'm gonna slide the phone over and I wanna show you uh, my computer screen right here so you can see in real time what it will look like to make the transfer. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is plug in that cable at the bottom of the phone, just like this. And then you'll wanna plug in the other end to your computer, right in the Type-C port or USB port. And you should see a pop-up on the computer. Right here it says Pixelate Pro. I'm gonna click on that little pop-up and I'm gonna swipe down and I just wanna go right to open device to view files. This is the easiest way to do it. Now, one thing you'll notice when that pop-up shows up on the screen, it's gonna say the folder is empty. And the reason for that is because you have to give the computer permission to be able to access the phone's files before it can show up on the computer. So on your phone, you're gonna swipe down from the top of the screen and you'll see at the bottom, it's gonna say charging this device via USB. I'm gonna click on this little drop down arrow and then I want to simply tap on this option here and I wanna change it to file transfer, okay? As soon as you select that, you'll see a different pop-up on the screen. Now you see it says internal storage or internal shared storage and now I can access those files from the computer. So I'm just gonna double click on this folder here and let's make this a little bit bigger. You wanna look for the folder named DCIM, which stands for Digital Camera Internal Memory. Double click on that and you'll wanna click on camera and here you'll find all the pictures and videos that I've taken on this phone thus far and now I have the option to either make a copy of these pictures and put those on the computer or I can do a cut and paste. And if I cut and paste, I'm gonna basically be moving them off of the phone and just saving them to the computer. So I wanna show you how to do those two things right now. First, I'm gonna pick up this folder and just drag it to the left side of the screen. And then I wanna to go to the bottom of the screen and I wanna to go to where this little manila folder is and I wanna right click and I wanna to go to File Explorer and that's gonna put a second screen or second um, window right on top of the screen. I'm gonna shrink this down just a little bit here. And now I wanna to go to the Pictures tab on the left side of the screen here and from here, I want to create a folder. I'm going to simply um, click in the blank part of this folder here. I'm gonna right click. So I clicked once, excuse me. I clicked once and I'm telling the computer I wanna do something in this folder. Now I'm gonna right click and go to new and go up to folder. And I wanna name this pictures from pixel eight and I wanna to put today's date. So I know the last time I've backed up my pictures. So here's my new folder I've just created. I'm now gonna double click on that. And now my folder is created and it's ready for me to start moving pictures to it. So you've got a few options here. I can click on, for example, this one picture here. I can click it once to select it and then I can click and hold and simply just drag it over to my new folder, that's one option I have. I can also click on one file and then on the keyboard I can hold Control A and this will select all of the pictures in this folder in one swoop. 
and then I can hit Control C to copy everything I've selected, or I can come up here and click on this little button here, which is the copy button. It'll copy all these files. And then I'll come over to the right side here and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click on this paste button or I can simply hold control and, and V and that will paste a copy of all these pictures that are currently on the phone. It'll paste them over to the computer. Now, I'm gonna cancel this because there's like seven gigs of pictures, so it's a lot, so I don't wanna do all that right now. But that's the process to make a copy of what's on your phone and basically put that copy on the computer. Now, the other option you'll have is, hey, I don't wanna make a copy. My phone is full and I wanna transfer all these pictures off of my phone and I wanna transfer them to the computer so I have them saved, no problem you're going to click on one of the files, and then on your keyboard, hold Control and press the A to select all the files again. But this time, I wanna click on the scissors, which is the cut button. I wanna click on that. And then I wanna come over to my, new, my folder on the right, the one I just created. I'm gonna click once, because I'm telling the computer I wanna do something in this folder. And now I wanna come up to the paste button right here, and that's gonna paste all of the pictures that I just copied from the phone. It's gonna move them off of the phone and now move them over into this folder I've created on the computer. So essentially this will free up a ton of space for you because it's now gonna move them off the phone and move them to the computer. Now, uh, a third option you have, let me go ahead and cancel this because that's gonna take a long time. The, the third option that you have, you don't have to select pictures one by one. So let me delete these first. The other option you have is you can go through these pictures and say, well, I only wanna take certain ones. So if, if I was just gonna take certain pictures off of the phone, I'd be a little more strategic. So watch this. I want to maximize the screen so we can see everything and I want to change the view. I want to change it to detailed view. And then I want to go to type. And I want to hit type because now it's going to sort all the pictures by, okay, what is a picture and what is a video? So right now it has all the JPEG files, all the picture files first. And as I scroll down, it has all the video files at the bottom of the screen. Maybe your goal is, I just wanna transfer off the videos and not the pictures, no problem. Well, guess what? I'm at the bottom here, and as soon as you get to the files that say MP4, now you know you're dealing with videos. From here, I can now go to view and go to extra large icons, and now I can actually see a preview of each of the pictures and as I keep scrolling down, I can see all the videos here. Now, unfortunately, the videos are not gonna show you a preview, but the pictures will. So this will help you to select, you know, uh, pictures if you're trying to maybe get pictures from a trip and you wanna, you can know when certain pictures start when they end. At the bottom here, I would now have to start clicking on these videos one by one to actually see what they are. So there's a few different things you can do, but. I can basically click on this video here. I can hold down on shift and then click on the last video and that would allow me to only select the video files. Maybe I just want to move those big video files off the computer. I don't want to move everything. No problem. I've selected all the large video files and now I can come up to the top here and I can either copy if I'm trying to put a copy on my computer or I can do the scissors to again, move them off of the phone and paste them into that other folder. So this has been just a rundown of how to transfer files from your phone to the computer. Um, when you're all done, you simply just need to unplug your phone and you're good. And that's it. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I tried to be thorough and I also tried to incorporate all the different scenarios that you would run into. Do me a favor, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if the video was helpful. And also, if you found it helpful, hit that like button down below. 
And if you're not subscribed, show your boys some love and hit that subscribe button. It definitely helps out the channel. And stay tuned for more videos. Take care, and as always, have a good one.